Okay, it's day eight. We are heading into Forks today. We got about 12 miles. Jen was behind me. We just left camp. Jen was behind me, but she forgot her underwear hanging in, <laughs> in a tree. So we got to go into the bogus shield last night and just clean off and cool off. And it was beautiful. It was actually kind of warm. I was surprised at how warm the water was. But it's always good at the end of the day to be able to jump in a lake, a river, a stream, whatever. Cool off your legs, get cleaned off, and get ready for the next day. But boy, what happened, I think, is that water just attracts the bugs. I'm usually not a bug magnet, but man, they are all over me today and last night. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But we're in the we're in the rainforest here. It's it's so green. Uh, the moss on the tree is just incredible. You try to hit, take pictures of it, but it doesn't it doesn't show up the way it does when we're looking at it. It's just fascinating. And it looks like it might be a we might get some rain. Oh, it's really kind of kind of muggy right now and there's no sun out. Yesterday it was sunny the whole day, but it never really got above 70, so it was like perfect. Uh, the trail is a little Trails, I'm waiting for Jen. <laughs> the trail's a little hit and miss though because it, I mean, you got two miles of bushwhacking and it's, you know, the vegetation is three, four feet high and it's wet and it's, you're getting scratched up and, <laughs> and then you got this nice path like we're on right now, like that. We'll walk for two miles like that. It'd be nicer if it just stayed like this, but it doesn't. And we got 12 miles out, and then we're in Forks. And then we catch the bus from Forks into PA, Port Angeles. And either take the bus from there to Port Ludlow, depending on... Here comes Jen. How are your underwear? We're good, right here. Okay. Mexico. You got them? They're still wet. Her underwear's still wet, so that's not a good thing. Yeah, I tried to dry some stuff out in the air last night. It didn't work. It's too too moist out here. So, uh, hopefully you get the bus from um, Port Angeles into Port Ludlow, or, or we get a ride somehow. So, wish us luck. Here we go. You okay back there? Yep. Look at the green. Jeez. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, here's supposedly the rope assisted hill climb. There's a big avalanche here and ooh, Jen's just climbing right up it. That's awesome. You're, you're the best rope climber ever. Love you. Love you, honey. Another rope assist, but going downhill this time. So hopefully a little bit easier. He's doing good. Whoops. Still alive. Hips still in the socket. That's always a good thing. Now we got a rope assist going downhill. It's really slippery at the bottom, eh? We don't want this rope to break. No. I slipped and fell a little bit. I never did fall, I slid. That's okay. Here she comes. This is a steep part right here. She's doing good. There you go, good move. Yeah, she's gonna be okay. 
Okay, talk to you later. She's almost here. How you doing? Good. Woohoo. I got to watch you go first. Talk to you later. Okay, we got about five miles to the end of the road, and yep, roadwalk. Okay, so we're almost done. How would you rate it so far? How about the scenic views? The views on this section of the trail. Well, I mean, we're on high divide, so that's yeah. always amazing, but it's very short <laughs> yeah, compared so. to the 60 miles, and it might have been six miles of views. Yeah, it was a one mile stretch of high divide, roughly, and the rest of 60 miles uh, it was okay. How about compared to the last section? Oh, well, there were more views, but this was high divide. Yeah. I don't know, the views on high divide to me are pretty spectacular. Yeah, high divide's pretty amazing. Uh, I thought, well, we saw a big group of elk this morning, which is cool because we haven't seen much animal life. Saw a couple deer, toad some grouse um, but there was just a lot of ups on this part this was really the first day a lot of bushwhacking on this yeah <laughs> the first day was basically 16 or 18 i don't remember how many miles of up there wasn't much uh downhill and then yesterday was no the day before yesterday was pretty bad no it was yesterday wasn't it yesterday was mostly down yeah it was the day before yesterday it was just up <laughs> it was that wore us out but we had a good campsite last night, so that made it nice. And now we get to go into Forks, get a mocha. You gonna have mocha? Probably. Yeah, she's gonna have mocha. Oh, some fruit. We haven't had fruit for a while, so that'll be good. And we just, a car just went by us. They didn't pick us up because they had a loaded car. We almost had a ride into Forks, which would have been awesome, but now we got the road walk. Okay, anything else to say? Nope. Okay, she doesn't have anything else to say. There's the book shield. And that was awesome. Yesterday I got to sit in there twice. It was nice. It's not even that cold. That was pretty cool. Okay. Talk to you later.